Welcome to Talk Dizzy to Me, the show that brings you a comprehensive look into the complex field of dizziness. Now here are your hosts, vestibular physical therapist, Dr. Abby Ross and Dr. Danielle Tate. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Talk Dizzy to Me. I am your host, Dr. Danielle Tate, a vestibular physical therapist. Uh, my co-host today is currently traveling, so it'll just be me recapping the Vestibular Disorders Association Virtual Vestibular Conference Day 4. And if you guys tuned in live, then you will know it did not go as planned, to say the very least. Um, we had some technical difficulties on the end of the webinar jam platform. Unfortunately, we were unable to go live from there. So thank goodness for the team over at Vita. We were able to kind of backtrack and come up with a solution to get you guys all over to Facebook, where we did a Facebook Live of our presentation, which also did not quite go as planned. We could not get sound on the pre-recorded presentation. So we were graciously, graciously um, on Facebook Live with Dr. Janine Holmberg, who was supposed to uh, present today from her recorded presentation. And instead, what we did is we took all of the wonderful questions that you guys left in the chat, and we started a, a live Q&A, which went for a good amount of time. So I'm hoping we got to hit on some things that you guys were wondering about and questioning, and we will make her recorded presentation available because it is a fantastic presentation. Um, I even watched it again last night just because it was so informational and I was so excited for it today. So we will make that available in one way or another. Just sit tight while we figure out exactly how to do that and make that available for you guys. Um, in the meantime, I'd love to talk about what was covered today and what our patient panel also covered today because I thought there were some really great things brought out. Um, so Dr. Holmberg, and you know, she kind of great wonderfully answered everything that we threw her way. So thanks to Janine for answering all those questions. I mean, it was a lot to ask of her to think on her feet like that. And she was a trooper. Clearly, she's an expert in the field and on this topic because she was just able to so wonderfully answer everything we kind of threw at her. Everything from what we did as far as therapy for treatment of persistent postural perceptual dizziness to what kind of medications might be helpful and how this is really an individual disorder that can come from a, a baseline or another type of vestibular dysfunction that people might experience um, before their symptoms become more chronic, um, creating this diagnosis of 3PD. So it's worth going back and checking out. It's actually because we were live on Vestibular today on Facebook, that video, the whole um, the whole debacle is actually available to watch on Vestibular Today's Facebook page. Go on, check it out, um, listen to Janine answer some really, really great questions, and then also listen to Laura and our two panelists today go over what it's like to have um, come into this diagnosis and what it's meant for them. Um, you know, Liz actually got into her diagnosis and um, jumpstarting her treatment all because of Balance Awareness Week. She, uh, about two years ago, was able to um, get into some awareness and figure some things out just because of the campaign that we had going for Balance Awareness Week around the same time. And, you know, her journey has taken her a long way, but she's been able to kind of figure out how to manage her symptoms and how to continue living her life to the fullest. Um, then we also had James and he did a fantastic job of kind of coming about this from a new patient perspective. He is a school teacher and kind of lucked out in this pandemic that they had to stay home and work from home. So he didn't have to endure trying to manage working in this crazy work environment with kids running all around and make him, making his symptoms feel worse. So we also talked about how you really have to be a vestibular warrior to get through everything that you have to get through in order to start feeling better and find your journey back to balance. There is hope and there is a light at the end of the tunnel and raising awareness is a big part of that. So thank you to Vita for putting on such an awesome campaign, awareness campaign um, to help people become more aware. It is something that's so prevalent, but never talked about. And I'm really excited that, you know, even as glitchy as it has been, we have this great event where we are putting out a ton of resources to help people with vestibular dysfunction. Um, you know, sometimes it's just hearing somebody talk and relating to that and 
finding out that you're not alone, that can really kind of jumpstart your journey and get you feeling better. So tomorrow, tomorrow is our last day of this vestibular conference. And we are going to be hearing from Kathleen Strauss, who is going to be talking about complementary and alternative medicines. Another fantastic talk. We are going to try to um, go at this the way that we've been approaching the, the entire week on Webinar Jam. Um, fingers crossed everything goes well. But I will also ensure that we have a plan A and a plan B and a plan C just in case we need to jump over to something different in order to make sure we get this information to you guys. Um, the entire recorded week we are going to try to make available to you at a later date. Um, and this is just so that people can go back and utilize the resources that we've put together. This has been a long time coming as far as planning is concerned, but it's also laid the groundwork for future events. Um, you know. If you guys feel the need to donate to help us put on additional events like this in the future, please help us out. Um, you can donate at vestibular.org. And this is where you'll also find our registration link for tomorrow's um, uh, webinar, as well as some forums. So one of the things that we wanted to encourage you to do is go to vestibular.org slash forums. And there you'll be able to see and um, some discussion posts where you can post it, put where you can post some additional questions if you have anything related to the topics that we mentioned this week or any other suggestions on topics you'd like to cover or if you have any specific questions related to your diagnosis or therapy or where you can find additional resources. So thank you for again for tuning in and thank you to all of you who are so flexible in making the jump from Webinar Jam to Facebook Live today. We really appreciated you guys showing up and just lighting up the comments again. I think we had nearly 500 comments throughout that entire uh, patient discussion and, and panel discussion. So keep them coming and keep watching, keep listening, keep helping us find out ways that we can help you. And we'll see you guys for the last day tomorrow. Fingers crossed this goes a little bit better than today. We'll see you guys then. Thank you.